Then, today I'm going to tell you the story, Puss in Boots. Once there was a poor miller's son who had a talking pet cat. Though he was very fond of his cat, yet he would not be able to feed himself and his cat. Seeing his master, the cat said, Don't worry, master. I'll make you quite rich. Just get me a bag, a, a hat and a pair of boots. The miller's son bought him a large bag, a fine pair of boots and a hat with the little money he had. The cat put on his hat and new pair of boots and at once went out into the nearby garden. He picked up some carrots and put them into the bag. The cat placed the bag with its mouth wide open near a rabbit's hole and hid behind the tree. Smelling the fresh carrots, a, the greedy rabbit jumped into the bag to eat the carrots. The cat quickly came and tied the strings of the bag. The cat took the fat rabbit to the king and said, Your Majesty, I bring you a present from my master, the Prince of Carabas. The king accepted the present joyfully. One day, the cat heard that the king was going for a ride through the forest. He said to his master, I want you to go and swim in the river that flows in the forest. As soon as the miller's son got into the water, the cat carefully hid his clothes. After some time, the king's carriage came near the river. The cat shouted, Help! Help! My master, the prince of Carabas, is drowning! Heard, hearing his shouts, the king sent his men to save the cat's master. Some thieves have stolen my master's clothes, said the cat. Hearing this, the king commanded his servants to get the finest clothes for the cat's master. They did as the king had ordered them. When the miller's son wore the royal clothes, he looked like a real prince. The cat introduced the miller's son to the king as the prince of Carabas. The king was very impressed and thought, the young prince could be a good husband for his daughter. He asked the prince, Will you marry my daughter? Soon the miller's son and the princess got married, thanks to clever puss in boots. All of them lived happily ever after. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the story.